guys, welcome back to Why You Were Cleaning. Today I have a different sort of Christmas DIY video to share with you. At our new home, our yard is lined by evergreen trees. We have several different types. And so this year I wanted to put together some live wreaths. And so I'm going to be doing that in today's video along with some other DIYs that you can do using live evergreen branches. So I hope that today's video is a fun and helpful video for you and that you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, please hit that like button, please comment and subscribe, and we'll go ahead and get started with these projects. I spent most of my time on my front porch for this video, I removed all of the fall decorations, and then as you can see, all of my flowers have died off, and so I really wanted to do something with this planter, and then with the large planter type box that we have here on the front of the house. I had the idea to add some evergreen branches to this large planter box and so I cut out all of the dead flowers and then I had this huge pile of branches that our electric company had to cut away from the wires. So they're perfect for outdoors, they wouldn't really last indoors, but they'll work great for outdoors to add to this box and they'll just stay fresh for a good long time still. I started off by laying down some of the ones that didn't have as much structure to them and just laid those across the front of the box and then all of the ones that were a little bit more stiff I stuck those up along the back of the box. So started out with the front being covered and then some straight up branches in the back and then I went back through and I added in branches to that middle section between those two rows that I first put up. We have several different types of evergreen trees in our yard, so I added branches from at least three of those to this box, and I really like how all of the branches work really well together. And then I went ahead and added some white string lights to these. I probably added a good four strands to fill out this entire box, and then I added in these large bulbs as well. Next, I wanted to put together a garland that can hang around my door. So it really helps to start off with a faux garland. These have all of those wired garland pieces on them and they're just perfect for holding all of your branches in place or anything else that you want to add to them. I have these really large flowy green branches. So I'm just starting with one hanging a good deal off the end of my garland. I tied that all in place with the garland and then I went ahead and just kept layering the branches one on top of the other working my way around this garland. Once I got to the center top where the center of my door is then I changed the direction of my garland pieces and I started from the opposite end of the garland. So you can see here on the right that's the side that I was showing you I was putting together. Once I got to the center here I changed the direction of my branches so that they are all just hanging straight down. I wanted to add in another type of branch as well. So this is a white pine and these have the really long needles and they have a nice contrast between the white pine and the short needles of the Douglas fir. And so you can see here how they look together. So once my garland was all hung up, then I went back through and I added these white pine pieces so I could see exactly where I wanted to put them. And again, I'm wiring them in place with that faux garland, and then the branches are all hanging in the same direction as well. To the right of the door, they hang off to the right, and then to the left, they go the other direction. Next, I'm going to use this extra wide 
wired ribbon to make a bow and when I make bows I've showed you these before but I always do this figure eight pattern with the loops and then once I get as many as I want on either side this time I did eight loops four on each side I wire those together in the center and then you can go back through and you can twist your loops so that they're laying flat but by doing the figure eight pattern you're ensuring that the finished side of your bow is always showing. I added this large bow to the center top of this garland and you can see here it's centered above my door and then you can always do a little bit extra fluffing once you get it up there in place. I also added a strand of icicle lights to this garland. Because of how full the garland is, these lights really fill it out without having to loop a single strand of lights back and forth through the garland. I really love the way that this garland looks around my door. I think it's definitely something that I'm going to be redoing every year. And because of how full it is, I decided to not add any wreaths to my door. I just love the way that it looks with only the garland. Check out my Instagram page to see how this looks with the lights on. To that large planter that I have on my front porch, I went ahead and I moved it to the right side of my door. And then this is a Christmas tree that I found in the attic here at the house. It was pretty dusty and musty. I think it's probably about four feet tall. And I just took the feet off of it and stuck it right down into the dirt in the planter. And then I just started adding some evergreen branches to it. These are again ones that were cut down by the electric company. I just chopped them up into a few different lengths, added the longer length of branches to the bottom of the tree, and then just used shorter branches as I worked my way up the tree. I love the way that this tree looks with the branches added. It really fills it out. It makes it look a lot better. I think it was a little bit cheaper of a tree. And then to the top, I added a bow right there using the same method that I did for my door garland. I just left the tails on this bow a little bit longer. And then I also added some white lights to this tree as well. And I just ran those vertically on the tree. Next, I want to show you how I put together some swags that I hung on either side of our garage. And so you just want to start off with a pretty large, sturdy branch. This is going to hold the back and be the backbone of your swag. And then you could just alternate some branches. I just have two different types here, and I'm just alternating them on top of each other and then just keeping them nice and fanned out. And then when you're getting pretty much done with adding branches that are going to be going down, you just want to take a couple and stick those facing up. And those are going to cover up all of the ends of your branches that you originally set down. And then I'm just using one piece of wire and just making sure that I get all of those branches as I'm going through and wiring them all nice and tight together. Here you can see how it looks hanging. You could add some Christmas bulbs to this or a ribbon. I really like the way that it looks here and I put one on either side of the garage. I also wanted to use some evergreen branches inside this year. I'm going to be putting together still a garland to go on my fireplace mantle and then I'm hoping to also put together some for hanging on my staircase. And then I'm just going to do some wreaths as well too that I'm gonna show you in this video. So if you use branches indoors, what you wanna do is clip the ends of those at an angle and then you'll smash them with a hammer. And this really opens up the ends of the branches so that they can really drink in a lot of water so that they can last a little bit longer indoors. So once I did that to the ends of all of my branches, cut them at an angle, hammered them a little bit so they opened up. I brought them all indoors and I stuck them in my tub for a couple hours. Lastly today I want to show you how to put together some very simple wreaths. I wanted to hang some over my couch in my living room. So I'm just starting out with a single wire circle frame. I actually took one of the 14 inch wreath forms from Dollar Tree and I cut it apart so it was four separate rings 
And then I added in another ring as well and I put together five of these reeds to put in my living room. And then I'm just taking the full branches here. It's not going to be perfect. All the branches aren't going to lay perfectly, but it was the look that I was going for. And I just used small pieces of wire and I wired them down in two or three places around the branches. I wired them to that wire wreath form so that they just didn't fall completely off the wreath form and it just helped them to keep that circular form. I put together five different wreaths using three different types of branches. This one here is that white pine with the longer needles and then this wreath here is the one that I showed you that I just made and then these ones are made of cedar and you can see it really fans out so pretty and then I finished off with a couple others that matched with the white pine and the fir branches. I will, like I said, be adding some other indoor decorations as well. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see those once they're finished. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video and that it's been very helpful for you. Let me know down in the comments what you think about these different projects and using live branches for decorating in your home. Thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you next time. Bye!